Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create these interactive 3D slide menus with animation directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump straight into it. So as usual, we'll start with a blank presentation. So we'll go to File and choose Blank Presentation, then right click, Layout and Blank. I'll now right click, go to Format Background and set up a dark grey solid fill. That will be my menu slide and now I can right click and choose new slide. This is going to be the first of the interactive 3D buttons that are on slide one. So for this one I'm just going to use a full screen picture so I'll click on picture or texture fill, go to picture source and choose stock. I can choose anything but I'm going to choose this globe here. Then quickly add my test text which just will say slide one. It will be fig tree extra bold at 200 point size and I will align it to the center of the page. There's my first slide. I'll show you how you can quickly duplicate this and change the background and then I'll paste in the other slides to save time. So we click on our slide and then control D, go to our second slide, type slide two, click on the background and make sure that the format background box is selected and go to picture or texture fill and now we can change the source of the background. Again, you can pick anything. I just chose this one. And now to save time, I'll very quickly paste in the ones I had from my previous version. And now let's create the menu. And for this, we're going to use a slide zoom. So we'll go to insert, and then under the link section in the ribbon, we can go to zoom and choose slide zoom. I want to select all of these, one, two, three, four, and five, and press insert. By default, they'll come in like this. And while they're all selected, we can go to the Format Shape option, go to Effects, 3D Rotation, and choose the preset here, which is Isometric Top Up. I'll also go to 3D Format and change the height of the bottom bevel to 10. Now, if I go to the Fill options and go to Line and make sure it has no line, it will actually bleed the side of the image over the edges, which I think looks really good. So now we can drag them into a position. Now when we play, we can click on any of these and it will jump to the slide. We need to make sure they're a little bit apart, otherwise when you zoom into them, you will see the other slide over the top of the slide you're zooming into. So now when we play this, That's looking great, we just need to make one change so that the zoom will return to the menu. And to do this, we click on our object, go to the zoom section and make sure that the return to zoom is ticked on. I'm also going to make the duration 0.75 to make it a bit snappier. And I'll do that for each one. Now when we play that, I can click on any one of these and it will zoom in and click again and it will zoom back. Great. So there you go, a very quick way of adding some fun interaction that can really bring your slides to life using the inbuilt zoom feature in PowerPoint. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe. If you like this video, please smash the like button and I'll see you in the next one.